Reporter Chancellor Johnson is tracking the latest. Today is officially International Axe Throwing Day, so what better way to celebrate than to sit back, relax, and throw an axe. Shannon's go-to move is a snatch back three. Defenders know it's coming. and they still can't stop it. The big game is tomorrow, the Michigan Wolverines versus the Villanova Wildcats. Who do you see taking it home? Well, Villanova looked so impressive yesterday. What is your favorite dance move? Mm. Oh, I'll, I'll let you take, I'll let you take this one Jackie here, oh, you know, no. got nice She's little movie rock, you know. <laughs> Offensively, they were offbeat, and on defense, they weren't in harmony. And when the ensemble stopped, ASU fell in Music City. JD is ahead of his time, athletically, musically, and academically. From the mound to the court, Suns fans rejoice. Your basketball team is officially the worst in the league. ASU has never won a Pac-12 regular season or tournament championship. Why is this year the year? Number one, I foreshadowed it earlier, Marlene Shimmer, game winner. First, I want to say Sun Devils just knocked off the number one team in the country. Zalan Cheatham has the field. <laughs> Man, it's a dream come true. An Arizona State forward, Zalan Cheatham's first and final season as a Sun Devil, he's quickly become a fan favorite. The Phoenix native has turned heads with his fiery play and energetic personality. But his journey through his senior year has been a unique one. He's just a ball of energy. I just think he, you know, he'll make these big signature plays like he did with the dunk against Oregon. First of yes. Cheatham! And that's unique. He's like a unicorn. Zalen Cheatham's journey to Arizona State is as remarkable as his skill set. Born in South Phoenix, just a short ride from Wells Fargo Arena, Cheatham saw it all. Gang violence, fights, I mean, shootouts, just losing friends, losing family members. Um, I mean, all that type of stuff. But on the positive note, I mean, I, I swear. I learn how to compete. That's where I get my edge from. You know, without basketball, I don't know where I would be. Basketball has helped him tremendously. Like it gave him an outing, like something to do besides hanging out in the streets. I think Zion Cheetah had an advantage because there was no doubt he knew exactly what he wanted to do, and that was to play ball. I mean, that's, that was just kind of my therapy. That was my that was my release. Nothing else mattered when I was there. Well, he was excellent. He was an excellent player. As far as the leaping ability and all of that at practice, sometimes he'd do some things that really was like, whoa, that's, that's wow, because not everybody could do that. Zalin's athleticism would take him from the streets of South Phoenix to the palm trees of San Diego State. And that's all just athletic ability of Zalin Cheatham right there. After a stopover with the Aztecs, Cheatham found that the road led him back home. Once I got on the phone with Hurley, and we just had a, our first conversation, man. We just chopped it up, and he just he came off as so real. We talked about a lot of basketball things that that, that I thought that he could work on to put himself, uh, you know, to be in a great position to just showcase how good of an all-around player he is. I was just like, look, I'm in, bro. Like, I'm com I'm committed. I'm coming home. And ever since then, it's been a dream come true. Soon, the local kid became a fan favorite. Cheatham recorded only the second triple-double in program history, and he played a key part in taking down the number one team in the nation. But it didn't take long for Cheatham's dream to turn into a nightmare. So we're going to start with breaking news. This out of Tempe tonight. Police searching for the gunman in a deadly shooting. This is a look. On December 29th, just one week after upsetting Kansas, Cheatham got a call that his brother Wanya had been shot. Come up to the hospital to see what's going on and get there and wait, wait, wait to find out he didn't make it. It was so hard to see him in that condition and to see how upset he was. There's no preparation when something like that happens. I mean, it, was, it didn't even seem real. Like, I couldn't believe it, but man, it was the toughest day of my life. We exchanged texts and phone calls, uh, you know, from, you know, 24 hours after that, and he seemed to you know, use basketballs as uh, kind of like a sanctuary to take his mind off it. For Zylan, basketball became more than a release, it became an escape. He's probably using this as additional motivation to, 
you know, to, to honor his brother's memory in some way by how he performs. I just know, like, I got more to play for now. If we were to do something special, make a real tournament run, and do something that's never been done here, I think that would be a testament to my legacy, uh, to my city. I think it would be that much more special. Cheatham was named to the first team all Pac-12 into the Pac-12 defensive team. You can catch Cheatham in action in ASU's next game at the Pac-12 tournament.